Hi and welcome to this uh, SketchUp for Permies tutorial. Um, I'm Joe Atkinson, I'm a permaculture designer and I use SketchUp to create images like this one, um, this one, this one and so on. Um, I'm not going to give you a real basic introduction to SketchUp. Um, if you want to get real basic tutorials then just go to YouTube, um, search for SketchUp tutorial and there is tons of stuff there. OK, so let's get started with SketchUp. Um, I'm going to use, uh, this is SketchUp 2015. Uh, and the template that I tend to prefer to use um, is actually the architecture one. Um, you've got all these different templates. Um, they're all pretty similar, to be honest. But they determine which units you're going to be working in. So if, you like me, you like working in um, metric, then um, you can choose a template like this, um, but there are also Imperial as well, uh, and particularly for Permies, um, there are some landscape architecture ones, so they're a few inches in meters. But um, I like working in millimeters, so I'm using this architectural design one. Okay, so let's start with SketchUp. So the thing I want to look at today is how you can use SketchUp to um, help you do some sun sector analysis. So if you're interested in understanding the shading um, that's going to affect um, a given site. Now this is particularly useful if you um, haven't got access to the site. Now obviously doing an analysis using software is no substitute for real observation but sometimes there might be a situation where you just haven't got access to the site and you want to be able to um, do some kind of basic observation or at least have a sort of best guess. Um, and the situation I'm going to describe is for a design that I did uh, for a new build project. So the buildings hadn't been built and I wanted to do some preparatory design um, to understand how, what the shading regime might, might look like. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is geolocate the model. Now, if you go to this icon here, the little tool tip comes up and says add location. Uh, add a geolocation for the model. So what we're going to, this this is uh, telling SketchUp where on the planet this model is going to be. So you click on there and it opens up essentially Google Earth. Um, so let's go ahead and type, um, I'm going to put in the postcode for the where the site is. Um, and so this brings up Google Earth's aerial photography data for the relevant area. Okay, so this is the this is the site where we were working on, and we can just go to select region, and that gives us this little selection tool. So we can we can crop the area. So we can just select the data we're interested in. Let's grab that. What's going to happen now is that's going to get imported into the model. So I'll just use the orbit tool here to move around so we can see. We've now got that um, aerial photo data as kind of effectively the kind of ground plane of the model. And if we zoom back in, we can see the little um, little person standing there. Okay, and you'll understand why I'm doing that in a minute. Okay, so there were various uh, buildings on site, um, and the buildings I'm particularly interested in there. There are there's a couple of apartment blocks. There's one roughly here, um, and because there was no real building, I couldn't measure anything up. But um, I did have the construction drawings, so I could read off the dimensions here. So um, external dimensions, it's about 8.8.5 metres by mm, just under 20. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start dragging the, essentially, the f I'm going to create a rectangle to represent the, f the footprint of the building. And so I'm going to type in the dimensions. So we know it's, let's say it's about 20 meters 
to comet by 8.5 this is accurate enough for the purposes of the tutorial uh, and I also happen to know the buildings are around about eight and a half meters high so let's say um, I'm typing in the dimensions and you'll see them in the, the bottom right hand corner of the screen there okay so that's created uh, a 3d object in the model that's roughly about right for the size of the apartment block uh, there is also I'll, there is also an apartment block close by of the same size which is going to affect the shading so let's I'm going to copy that object oops uh, I'm going to copy that object and drop it in okay let's just move around drop it in it's it's round about here it doesn't need to be exact for the purposes of the tutorial okay so now we've got these kind of two apartment blocks um, and the area I'm interested in designing for is this area behind here so this area to the north of the, of the apartment block so if we want to see the shadows just go to your view menu and there it is enable the shadows great so we can see that that's now added some shadows um, if we want to now manipulate those we need to bring up the shadow um, toolbar which isn't um, isn't present um, by default so when you download SketchUp 2015 it's not going to appear as one of your default toolbars so you need to go to view toolbars that'll bring up this little dialog scroll down there it is shadows okay close this <clears throat> so what we can do here is we've got a slider for the month so let's say let's let's have a look at June and what we can do here is change the time of day so we can see well, in the middle of the night it's dark obviously um, so there are, there are no shadows and then once the sun comes up we can see how the shadows move around I'm just gonna um, change the view here a little bit so we can see as the day progresses how the shadows move around the building and then, so that's in June, in March, sort of late March, around about the equinox, um, obviously the sun path is going to be different. And because we've geolocated this model, we've told SketchUp where it is on the planet, um, that means the model's intelligent enough to know, um, to calculate this solar geometry correctly. Um, so, so these shadows are the correct length for the latitude of the building so we know that this is going to be accurate okay so that's that's great uh, and we can add extra detail by if we bring up the shadow setting that allows us to more um, accurately specify um, date and time so rather than it being this slide has just shown us the month we can put in an actual date here so let's say spring equinox and let's say um, f 4 o'clock in the afternoon oops 4 o'clock in the afternoon so you can you can check where the sun's going to be at any given time so that's just some real basics on how you can use SketchUp to um, give you some accurate solar shading data um, I hope that's been useful and interesting and I hope you have fun playing around with SketchUp